Hi folks, welcome back to the Cannabis Corner. I'm your host, Kerry Burns. You know, we can sit here all day long and talk about all of the things that are going on out there that are unfair toward the cannabis smoker and the persons and people who choose to use this herb instead of other dangerous substances, whether they're legal or not out there on the market or not. And all of this really boils down to a just this fishbowl of stupidity that has been contrived out of thin air, completely based on nothing. And we've, we, we as a society, as cannabis users and all, we have to live in, this, in what I call this stupid world. And I'm absolutely sick of living in this stupid world. I'm sick and tired of a drug enforcement agency that has impunitive power to go after people who smoke an herb, cannabis herb, when you have alcohol and cigarettes and certainly other, the other prescription drugs and stuff that are easily available out there, all just flowing hand over fist through the streets where we promote alcohol like it's the gift of the gods and, and if you drink it and all, you're just you know some wonderful person and all. And we talk nothing about all the problems that it leads to and how many people die from it and cigarette deaths and all that each year and yet we still have this we have this hardcore approach to the cannabis user who has actually not hurt anybody hasn't been harmed by the herb that he's using and if he uses that exclusively then it's probably saved him from a lot of dangerous narcotics uh, that he could have uh, been using instead and of course we know what addictive pathways that would have led to and the destruction of life and health and whatnot and so it's it's absolutely ridiculous that the government and the drug enforcement agency get to get away with this lie like they've been doing for seven or eight decades now it's like when prohibition ended all these federal agents and stuff that they had they had nothing to do they couldn't chase alcohol anymore and so what do they do they they create the Marijuana Tax Act and they all become agents that are going after the marijuana marijuana or the cannabis back then. And it's just, it's gotten more insane as the decades go by. The brainwashing has gotten more and more. The lies have gotten more and more. Everything that they come out with is just absolutely not based on anything. Any of the research that's been done out there in their, in their different researches that have been approved and all, that they were trying to find something dangerous about cannabis, they've actually found out beneficial things about it. I mean, there's two separate studies that they did, one at the University of Alabama and one at the University of California in Berkeley, on, uh, the, on the studies of whether or not cannabis caused lung cancer like cigarettes did and all. In both studies, they were, they were actually set out to show that the cannabis was carcinogenic and that it did cause cancer. And both studies refutedly proved that lung cancer is not caused by smoking cannabis, even with heavy cannabis users. In fact, people who, the, the new users and, and younger users that use cannabis actually showed increased airflow, not decreased airflow. So this totally threw out all that research. And there's not, there's not any research out there to date that in any way whatsoever shows cannabis as being a danger to society. Now, the Controlled Substance Act, one of the reasons that they formed the Controlled Substance Act and all was their so-called, we're going to protect the public from anything that might endanger society or, or be damaging to, to people in society as a whole. Well, cannabis does not fit this in any way, shape, or form. None of the research that's been done has showed any detrimental effects. For the most part, it's very beneficial. It's why a lot of people choose to use cannabis Cannabis as a medical, what they call medical marijuana, even though I hate that term, but, uh, but is because it does offer a, an extreme amount of medicinal benefit to the people who use it. And it's like any, uh, any herb. Long-term usage of this just gets you more and more of the benefits of this plant and the benefits of the herbs of the herb itself. And and the DEA has just nonstop from day one, not only since the Marijuana Tax Act of 1937, but the Controlled Substance Act of 1970 and all that, they have done nothing but just carry on like this is the most worst substance on the planet. It's like it's the most dangerous. And if you really look at the toxicity of even things that we even eat on a day-to-day -day basis, I mean, you can consume more cannabis than you can almost anything out there and not have any harmful effects like you would on certain, just certain food groups if you eat too much of one thing or another can cause you problems. And and that's, this is how insane it is. And we, we as a society, we've got to... 
we've got to get this changed. The Drug Enforcement Agency, the reason they maintain their hardcore stance and their policy like they do is because this is their job. If they didn't have cannabis to go after and all that, about 75% of those agents wouldn't have a job. Homeland Security could just disappear because most of the stuff that's being done by Homeland Security on the borders and stuff is strictly to arrest people bringing cannabis across the border. And this is absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane on so many levels. Not just the fact that we're keeping the hemp industry from occurring, which would make all of our fuel prices and a lot of the products that we use day to day that are made from oil, which is sky high right now, if we were making all these products from hemp, it would be cheaper for Americans to live. We wouldn't be burdened so heavily with this three to four dollar gas prices. We wouldn't be burdened so heavily with all these rising food costs and stuff in the store because we could produce these products out of hemp, which is cheaper to produce. An acre of hemp is the equivalent of four acres of pine trees. I mean, look at the, look at, and, and it's something that's renewable that we can grow year after year, in some cases, two crops a year in certain parts of the country. So we, we, we just want to slit our own throat. But this, is, this isn't done by accident. This isn't done because we don't know better. This isn't done because we don't know that cannabis is a safe herb and all that. We know all that. We, the cannabis users for the last four or five decades that have been heavy smokers, like myself, use cannabis daily for the last 45 years, have not had any problems with my health. I've not had any issues at, at all related to cannabis use and whatnot. And the only one thing that I have had to worry about is the enforcement, the being arrested for it. And the fact, and that's what you, when you try to talk to the people out there in America about cannabis and how safe it is and how it's actually a beneficial herb and all that, all they ever say is, but it's illegal. Well, no kidding. You think the pot smokers don't know it's illegal? We've had to live under this scrutiny and burden for a long, long time. You alcohol drinkers haven't had to do that. You people that go out and smoke cigarettes one after another, y'all don't worry about getting arrested for it, even though your substance kills nearly 700,000 people a year and our cannabis hasn't killed anybody since the dawn of time. I mean, it's, you know, the scales are t tipped quite heavily in one direction and, and it's like it ought to be the other way. It's like, you know, if, if you're going to have this severe penalty for cannabis, then my God, the people drinking alcohol or, or using cigarettes, if you did a comparison on the severity of it, then they should be lined up before a firing squad and the cannabis smokers give them a the blue ribbon. But it's not that way in our society. It's because the people who control it, it's all about control. It doesn't have, they know that cannabis is harmless. They know that the hemp industry would be a boon for America's economy. They know that it would put people back to work, but they would lose their interest in what they're making off the, the foreign oil coming into this country and all the companies that are related to cutting trees down for making paper and pulp products and things like that. They all know that they would be affected. But the, the bottom line is, is that from an environmental standpoint, from a social standpoint, cannabis should be legal. It is, it, is these, it is one of the most safest substance on the planet right now. I can't think of one substance out there. Even water can be more detrimental than cannabis if you consume enough of it. You can't consume enough cannabis for it to become dangerous to you. And there are so many issues that are thwarted because of this stupidity, because of this, this lack of common sense that seems to be going. But it's, but it's not a lack of common sense. They know what they're doing. They want to control it because, A, they want their jobs. B, it's great to have a thumb where you can put your thumb down over society and control them like that and all. And it's big money. They make lots of money, not only on the, the illegal side of it, uh, the smugglers and stuff, bringing it across the border and all that, but also from the judicial side and law enforcement side and all that. These are easy cases for law enforcement. They come in, they, they can arrest somebody. The, usually the, the, uh, it's, it's almost a win-win situation all the way through a drug bust and all. I mean, they, they, they go in front of a judge and boom, oh, it's for drugs, boom, you're guilty. And in the very fact that we even call cannabis, which is an herb, a drug is just beyond me. It's, it certainly doesn't follow the protocol that's set up by the United Nations that we're all supposed to follow. They refer to it as cannabis or cannabis resin if you're talking about hashish, but there's no mention of drugs or narcotics or anything like that. And all of this is just to keep a public keep a public thinking that cannabis is bad. And we, we really have. We've been brainwashed in this society to believe that, that this 
one of the most least harmful substances out there, the, the society has been made to think that it's very dangerous. And that, that way they can substantiate a drug enforcement agency. They can substantiate their jobs. They can substantiate this judicial system and this prison system that keeps millions of people locked up and keeps millions of tax dollars going into these entities. Homeland Security, it's, it's a way of making sure that we can keep plenty of those officers hired and all that, even though we're supposed to be watching the borders. It has nothing to do with it. That's, that's, a, that's a crock of you know what. And most of the lies and everything they've told is a crock of you know what. And I'm just sick and tired of living in this stupid world. I'm sick and tired of being told that I can't use an herb that I know for myself is beneficial to me and to my health and certainly is not detrimental. And it has certainly kept me from becoming an alcoholic. It certainly kept me from becoming a prescription drug user or a hardcore whiskey drinker or a cigarette smoker. I can tell you for a fact that cannabis will keep people from becoming those things and all the problems that go with those. You don't see those with cannabis. You don't see cannabis smokers beating their wives and abusing their families and all. It just doesn't happen. You, you look at you look in bar scenes and all where people are getting drunk and, and, and loud fights and stuff going on. That's what you get. Go into a room of people that are sitting around smoking a joint and all. They're talking. They're having fun. They're relaxing. There's no stress. And they, so... You know, we just, we have to stop the stupidity. I, I, and I want, I'll lead the charge if it takes it, but I'm sick and tired of living in this stupid world. I don't, I don't want to be told that I can't use an herb because the other side, society wants to make up all these lies so they can, you know, further their cause just for the sake of a job and all. It's just absolutely wrong. And we as Americans, we deserve better than that. And our freedoms and our, what it does against our constitution in itself is enough that Americans, whether you smoke cannabis or not, the very fact that what this does to undermine our Constitution, you should all be up in arms. We should be lynching these people in Washington, that, that any of them that, that oppose any kind of movement to getting cannabis legal and all that. And we don't need to turn medical marijuana over to the doctors. That's just about as insane as the DEA. People should be able to grow their cannabis if they have a space to grow it or be able to go to a a facility that's just like one that sells beer or cigarettes or food or whatever, they should be able to go and buy these on the free market just like they do those other substances without any repercussions whatsoever from law enforcement. And not only, what, what would we accomplish by doing that? First of all, we wouldn't have all the jail cells filling up with pot smokers. We wouldn't have all the deaths going on south of the border that, you know, up, upwards to 60 to 100,000 people have been murdered in the last several decades just by these cartels that are ruthless enough that murder is just on the list of, you know, how they control their business and all that. We wouldn't be dealing with all this financial debt hundreds of billions of dollars that we spend every year to enforce this and also to, to prosecute and to lock people up and keep them locked up and all. All that money could go back into our society and, and help actually find jobs. If we got the hemp industry going, my God, we're talking about a trillion and a half dollar industry that could completely supply all of our fuel needs and over 50,000 products that we're paying for right now today at high prices because we're making them from high embargoed oil that we brought from a foreign country. And most of those countries that we buy oil from, we've been in skirmishes with or are standing on a boiling point of where we may be in a skirmish with some of them. And this is just wrong. And you look at this t-shirt, it says Ron Paul. He's the only candidate out there, conservative or otherwise. It doesn't matter, Republican, Democrat. That means nothing, absolutely nothing, the party affiliation. But he he understands these problems and what this war on drugs and this drug enforcement agency and all that. He understands what all this has created. Even Nixon's own commission, the Schaefer Commission, recommended to Nixon after the doing a one-year study before the Controlled Substance Act was even passed, they told Nixon marijuana should be taken off of that list. It should not be criminalized like you're like y'all are doing. They absolutely just like during Prohibition, before Roosevelt. The, when Hoover was president, he had a commission look at alcohol. At they told him that alcohol should be made legal. He absolutely refused to do it. And, of course, he lost the next election. This is the same thing again. We, we learned absolutely nothing from the Prohibition times. We've allowed these cartels and all these street gangs in America to thrive, do their murderous deeds, kill people. For what? For what? Because we want to keep cannabis illegal and we want to tell somebody they can or can't do something like that? This is insane, America. I mean, really, this is on a level of stupid that it goes below goes below moron level. I mean, honestly. 
And for us as a society, our, this great America, this great world of a uh, country of freedoms and constitutional privileges that we're supposed to have and all. This is just, this is the biggest joke. It's the biggest brainwashing that's ever occurred in our history. I don't, I can't think of anything that has been pulled over the American people's, the wool has been pulled over American people's eyes than this very issue here. Not only the cannabis issue, but the war on drugs in general, but particularly the cannabis since nobody has ever died from it. Nobody's ever been sent to a hospital emergency room for an overdose from it. It's physically impossible possible to overdose because of the limited amount of brain receptors that we have in our brain to actually that the THC can bond with. Nobody does violent crime when, they, when they're when they doing cannabis. And the fact that you have an illegal substance and you make, make this crime available in the streets and across our borders and all that, if you didn't have, if we didn't have that law and all these stupid laws that go with it, you would not have all of this violence and you wouldn't have, wouldn't have a drug enforcement agency. We wouldn't need them and we don't need them. There's absolutely no need. They cause 10,000 times more problems than anything they ever solved. In fact, they've never solved anything except cause problems and death. And so when I say that the blood of all those lives that are murdered in Mexico, even though it may have been done by the cartel, it's the DEA, it's on your hands, it's on your badge, it's on all of that because y'all are the cause of it. And y'all are, y'all are the biggest undermining of the Constitution in this entire United States. Y'all's very actions, what y'all do to citizens of this United States just because they want to use the safest herb out there, one that's way safer than any alcohol, even the smallest amount of wine or the smallest, even little butt end of a cigarette or 10, 10 times more dangerous than even a, a whole bag of marijuana would do if you could smoke it in one puff and this is what we've got to it's just insane and I'm tired of living I'm tired of having to buy cannabis that comes from a cartel in Mexico that I don't know what they've sprayed on it I don't know what they've done to it while it's been growing let alone what they've done to it after they picked it and let alone what it had to go through to get it across the border here and 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 not to mention the fact that about 25% of it's nothing but trash and it is a very low potency cannabis that it's almost not even worth the $100 an ounce that they charge for it. I mean it's absolutely insane. I could for $100 I could grow every bit of cannabis I could use in 5 years in one growing session, one time. And I know it wouldn't be treated with chemicals or adulterated with god knows what, body parts, body fluids, who knows. I mean, you're dealing with a ruthless murdering society. You think they care what goes on the cannabis that's coming to the United States? Do we not care about our citizens? I mean, even when our own government sprayed Paraquat and all, I mean, there are people saying, oh, y'all deserve that. You smoke pot. Do we really deserve that? I mean, seriously, what have we, what have we done to get such a, a terrible rap? It's all because people out there that think like that have been brainwashed. They have been just so brainwashed and they, they bought it hook, line, and sinker. I mean, you might as well tell them that their mother's a prostitute and standing out on the, out on the avenue out there making money at night while they're, all, while they're in bed fast asleep having sweet dreams and all that. Makes about as much sense. Certainly not true. And why we tolerate this, why we're not rioting in the streets over this, why we're not unhinging the Drug Enforcement Agency at its very foundation is beyond me. And I'm ready to lead the charge if any of you Americans have enough of a backbone to stand up and stand up for your rights, because this is what it boils down to. This is our individual right, our personal right. If you choose that you don't want to smoke cannabis or use it, that's your absolute God-given right, and nobody would try to force you to do otherwise. But you are not Drug Enforcement Agency, United States government, and all of your cronies and, and all the people that, that stand behind your stupidity. You are not going to control us anymore. We are sick of it. We're tired of living under your stupid regime. We're tired of the negativity that y'all spew out, all the deaths that are caused by y'all's stupidity. We're tired of that. And we're tired of the fact that y'all want to cry about jobs and economy and all this stuff. And you don't give a hill of beans about it because if you did, you would have the hemp industry legal because that would generate thousands and millions of jobs and certainly bring our economy back. So We've given up on you. We don't, we don't want to live your stupid lifestyle. We don't want to live with your brainwashed lives anymore. None of that. 
So I urge all Americans, join me, stand up. Let's get this fight done. Let's get rid of the Drug Enforcement Agency, and let's get rid of these stupid laws that are plaguing and preying upon normal, everyday citizens that go to work just like the rest of you, that pay taxes just like the rest of you, that have families just like the rest of you, that are educated just like the rest of you, that, that enjoy the lives and freedoms of America and all that. All of us, smoking cannabis doesn't make us any different than that. And we're sick and tired of the way we're being treated. You talk about racism and you talk about bigotry and all that. This is the biggest hand of racism and bigotry that's ever been laid to any citizen of the United States. And it's absolutely wrong. And it should not be tolerated for another second. So if y'all need somebody to lead the charge, Kerry Burns of the Cannabis Quarter is right here. And I'll, I'll lead the charge all the way to the White House steps. And I encourage all of you Americans, and any of you, even if you don't smoke pot, if you want believe in the Constitution of this country and our freedoms and what we were founded on, and the fact that our founding fathers grew hemp, smoked hemp, used hemp, made hemp products, and it was a big part of our society. If you believe all that, then stand with me, and let's get rid of this drug enforcement agency. Let's get rid of these these military police style organizations that do nothing but harm this country, do nothing but bring it to its knees, do nothing but take tax revenues that should be spent on, on promoting business and, 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 and encouraging people's lives to get better. We're just throwing away all over this stupidity. I'm not living in the stupid world no more and I ask you to join me and join me today. And I do appreciate you joining the Cannabis Corner. Thank you very much.